While votes in some key congressional races are still being counted, the election in Alabama is safely over. There were a few upsets across the ballot, and 67% of Alabama voters checked a straight party ticket ballot, including 46 of Republican voters and 46% of Republican voters, 21% of Democratic voters. The patterns are similar in Madison County. News 19's chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson joins us with more. Brian. Yeah, that's right. The figures were quite similar. Madison County saw 64% of Republicans and 35% of Democrats vote a so-called straight ticket. And voter turnout numbers really lined up as well. Madison County reported turnout at 39%, while the state's turnout figures was just slightly lower, about 38.5%. Now, Madison County voters, like voters across the state, gave winning margins to Republican U.S. Senate candidate Katie Britt, along with 5th District Congressional candidate Dale Strong. There is also strong support for Governor Kay Ivey, and yet the statewide incumbent who did best was Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth, who did not face a Democrat in his race, but each of those candidates did better overall than they did in Madison County. Comparing those results, Governor Kay Ivey got 59, essentially 60%, and 67% statewide, a 7% swing. In the Senate race, Britt got 58.6% and 66.6% statewide, an eight point difference. And Dale Strong, his district includes Huntsville, got 58% in Madison County and 67% statewide. We mentioned Will Ainsworth. He got 74% in Madison County and 83.7% statewide. And Steve Marshall got 59.7% in Madison County, 67.9% across the state. Democratic voters did a little better here. Madison County voters also voted with an 84% margin to update and reorganize the state's constitution. That was up 77% with voters across the state. Greg?